Okay, I thought it's about time that we did uh, a little tour around the Bulldog and show you some of its super features. First of all, let's look at one of its good features, which is the, the fuel tank. So the, the Bulldog is an exceptionally good cross-country machine. Um, you, can, you can land in a field quite happily, take the tank out in literally just a few, a few seconds. And that's it, away we go to the petrol station. Um, we don't need to be walking across the field with the paramotor. We literally just walk with our tank and we can fill up. Um, this tank is 17 litres. Um, and with the Atom engine at three litres an hour, that's a serious cross country machine. So of course, when you've been and filled up, you just put it back into the cage, nice and easy. Pop the connections back on. And that's it, we're ready to go flying again. Simple. Uh, on the Bulldog here, we've also got um, a primer bulb, which is easy accessible from the seat. So from a pilot's point of view, you've been thermal in for um, you know, a good hour and you wanna restart your engine. It doesn't go, uh, it won't start without priming it. We can easily get a hand on here and press that to reprime the carburetor for an easy start. We've also got a master switch on the Bulldog, which is also easy accessible in the air as well. If your button stops working on your hand throttle, we've always got that to fall back on to kill the engine if necessary. Okay, so we can talk about the, uh, the harness on the Bulldog now. One of the, uh, many of them, but one of the benefits of the Bulldog harness is is that the harness is fully adjustable. Um, it's also colour coded, so those days when you've got your gloves on and you're, you're flustered to get going, um, it's very simple. We just put blue to blue and black to black. So you just can't go wrong at all with that, simple. Okay, so the harness on the Bulldog is it's fully adjustable. So if you're a 60 kilo pilot or you're a 110 kilo pilot, it doesn't matter. Um, the benefits from that are, of course, when you're selling a machine, you haven't got to find a certain person that fits that harness. This will literally fit any pilot. Um, some of the other benefits of the harness system and the bars is that if you have a larger garth, you can move these arms further out to allow room for the bigger belly person. Okay, so another thing um, with the Bulldog uh, and the harness system, there's a lot of people that will not fly a high anchor machine because they can't weight shift on a cross country. Well, actually on the Bulldog, you really can weight shift um, because these, this webbing is not fixed here, it moves up and down just the same as it would on a mid hang point machine. So on a cross country, you can clip your brakes up and just do a nice, a gentle weight shift to alter your course without any effort at all. Okay, also again, uh, a feature that's been well thought about um, with the Bulldog is they've moved the pockets forward on the harness. I think you'll find on, on a, quite a lot of them, they're further back here. This makes it much more accessible to get in and out of, and uh, it's much easier not to lose anything from there. And it also goes from the back to the front. Okay, so now we're gonna have a look at the, the rear of the machine to see some of the unique features uh, that Bulldog do. Um, a lot of these things are not even seen or thought about. He makes his own bracketry. Um, now the throttle is in the center of the, the frame, so it can be a left hand or a right hand throttle with nothing to change. Um, we've also got the small bracketry down the side here where the fuel pipe connects to, the breather pipe. So it's all stowed away nice and tidy. Another really nice feature is the wiring system and the wiring loom on the Bulldog. There is a lot of work um, involved in making all the wires tidy. On this particular engine, which is the Atom, all the wires have been put inside, so none are visible from the outside, less chance of something getting snagged or broken. So if you wanted to take the engine out, it literally is just a, a one plug and the wires are away. Very simple, very tidy. As with the throttle, 
um, on the Bulldog that is also a plug and play so if you wanted to take the engine out it really is only a few minutes and the engine is out of the frame also on the the Bulldog we have an hour meter fitted as standard so there's never any question of how many hours your engine has done so this Bulldog is actually fitted with the Atom 80 engine in it um, it is very good on fuel about three to three and a half liters an hour um, and the Bulldog comes standard with the 17 litre fuel tank. So as an XC machine, there is no better. And the total weight of that is 22.9 kilos with the 17 litre fuel tank. So while we've got it um, in pieces, we can uh, now have a look at this wiring loom that we were talking about earlier. And you can actually see how tidy that is. There's no visible wires on the outside of the engine. You can also take a look at the, the bracketry now quite closely and how well made that is and how tidy the effort and lengths that have gone to. So also we've got the retaining strap on the airbox there that Bulldog have done themselves. So in summary, the Bulldog, it's a lightweight, super strong, comfy paramotor, exceptionally good for cross countries, and it's also extremely pilot friendly. Simplicity by design, I give you the Bulldog.